promised my feet. Right now. Look at how my hair yeah, has come off. Oh my goodness. And there's our other dog down there. She's just had a shave and now she's sunning herself. That's Pepsi. Nearly done, monkey. Hi everyone, yeah I'm standing here woohoo in my jammies <laughs> and I've just put Matt on the school bus and um, yeah I'm, I'm trying to encourage myself to get out in the garden today but what I wanted to show you was our two dogs, they're still asleep, <laughs> Peppy, Pepsi, hey <laughs> wake up, Pepsi's a less apso and smoky over there he's a pomeranian and um i mentioned in one of my last videos that we've given them a spring shave and outside it's nice and warm the sun's out there but i don't know why they won't go out in the sun probably because they've got these well, nice warm jumpers on but i've had a few requests to um explain how i made these jumpers or how, how mad made them and they're really simple and easy and inexpensive because I just wanted something just for this spring period and I could just chuck it out anyway um, when it got all grotty. So what I did, Pepsi, are you going to show? No, <laughs> she's not. Are you going to show? Smokey, come here. Come on. <laughs> now, what it is, is just a, a rectangle of material of the polar fleece and there's only one seam in it. If I can tip you over, <laughs> Smokey, see there's only one seam right down, down underneath. And we've just cut holes in here because the polar fleece doesn't fray. You don't have to um, sew a hem on it. And um, we all as Mad did was make the neckline here just a little bit thinner, like smaller opening than the bottom. And she just sewed um, sewed it back so there was a little collar so she could pull it right up like that around their ears. And it's really warm and toasty in there, isn't it? Huh? And she sewed a little frill on on there just with the scraps of material which was really easy to do Pepsi got a green one and um and so I've I've just written up a rough instruction and and I can show you just roughly how to put this together but look really cheap solution to um just keeping your doggies warm after they've been shaved what are you shivering for you need to go out in the sun don't you huh these dogs are allergic to <laughs> the outdoors. <laughs> they love going on the beach and stuff, but they hate sitting outside. They'd rather sit in here and shiver. Anyway, I'll I'll be <laughs> I'll show you the pattern in a sec. Okay, so like I mentioned, just measure the length of your dog from its tail, the base of its tail, up to its ears or maybe a little bit past You also that. need to measure around the widest part um, of your dog's um, tummy or or chest area so that you get the width of, um, of the material and, that um, you need. And I've just pinned this into a rectangle so you can see that there's a... It's um in a tube shape, so I've just pinned that up. I'm not going to sew on no sewing machine or anything for you. I'm just going to basically show you how to put it together. So, you will, what you would do is just sew the one seam. So you've got a tube, and if you want to, you can sew like sew it on the angle so it comes down smaller at this the head opening. Okay, that's what um, Mad did on hers. So once you've done that, just pretend that that's sewed. And that's the seam that's going down the, the belly of your your doggy. Um, she just and she just folded this back and sewed that in the inside, so that there was a little collar on it, like that. And then um, on the base here, like if you want to just leave it like that, that's fine, like that. Um, on the bottom of her she put a little frill so with the scrap of material this is actually po uh, polar fleece so it's really stretchy in one direction and um, the other it's not of course but it's um the good thing about this is that it doesn't fray when you cut it so you can um, do lots with um, this polar fleece stuff and look this only cost oh the two jumpers would have only cost about three dollars 
it was really cheap and like we can at the moment in um spring like we can get this really cheap um in here in australia so what matt did was um she as she just went along she just made little tucks and made a little frill like that and just sewed it straight onto the outside of the jumper like this and just as she you know as you go along you just add another little tuck and that was the frill on the bottom of the jumpers and she, she I think she put two layers on and um and that's all it is you don't have to put the frill on for their legs I just laid it along their back and actually eyeballed where their um their their legs would be and all as we did was make two cuts like one just a cross shape and one going that way and that was their leg opening okay so just make sure that that opening there is as wide as the top of their legs so it doesn't rub on them or anything but there's no hemming in that either because this doesn't fray so it's just the two cuts so you do that either on on either side and your jumper's ready to go so we just wanted a really quick easy um, inexpensive solution for um, the dogs just staying warm after their shave and um, yeah it's worked well and yeah like I said we can just throw them out um, when it gets warm enough then all right so I hope that's helped um, the people who have asked how I made them or how I made them um, and um, yeah give them a go thanks for watching see ya